The average woman spends 60 minutes getting ready to leave the house for work. If the standard deviation is 15.8 minutes, what is the minimum percentage of women who will spend between 20 and 100 minutes getting ready? All right, so again, look for the key words when you read a problem like this. I see minimum percentage here. That indicates that we're looking for the smallest percent that would be located within here. And um, that's usually a key phrase for Chebyshev's theorem. They also tell us the mean and standard deviation, right? Spend 60 minutes getting ready on average with a standard deviation of 15.8 minutes. They want to know what's the minimum percentage within this interval. Notice how the mean is inside the interval and it's actually symmetric on both sides of that, right? So in other words, it's 40 above 60 to get to 100 and 40 below 60 to get to 20. So the interval is symmetric around the mean. This is a classic Chebyshev's theorem problem, asking for the minimum percentage within an interval. Perfect. It doesn't talk about the uh, data being bell-shaped in any way or normally distributed or symmetric and mound-shaped. So at that point, I think, hey, this problem is probably involving Chebyshev's theorem. Once again, if you think it's Chebyshev's theorem, your first task is to find k. So remember, k is equal to the number of standard deviations. Above the mean. Above or below the mean, actually, right? So to do that, we're going to say k is equal to the limit minus the mean over sigma. And this limit here, I'm going to use the upper limit. That upper limit will be 100. So I can say 100 minus the mean of 60 divided by the standard deviation of 15.8. So again, first step, get your k. This will work out to be 40 divided by 15.8. And when I do that, I find out that the answer is 2.53. Okay, so 2.53 is my k. Now, if I take that and plug it into the following formula, at least 1 minus 1 over k squared times 100% will be within the interval. Okay, so my task is now to plug in that k into the formula in order to determine the minimum percentage within 20 to 100 minutes. Okay, so let's plug that number in. I'll do that over here. 1 minus 1 over 2.53 squared, then multiply the answer by 100%. That arithmetic will give me the percent that I need. 1 minus 1 divided by 2.53. I'm going to add a couple more digits here. The full number was 53164557. I'll square that and end up with the following answer. 84.4%. Okay, so what this is saying now is that at least 84.4% of women will spend between 20 and 100 minutes getting ready. Okay, that's the minimum percentage. It could be a lot higher, right? It could be up to 100 because it says at least 84.4%. So it could be as high as 100% or as small as 84.4% or any percent in between, of course, right? But that's the minimum percentage you find within that range from 20 to 100 minutes.